What are the pros and cons of DE for women? Dehydropiandrosterone. DE is a precursor to testosterone and estrogen produced by the adrenal glands. There are definite pros and cons for the use of DE for women. Some of the positive reasons for taking this hormone may include improved energy, increased spinal bone density, easing of menopausal symptoms, and increased libido. The negative aspects of DE for women may include growth of facial hair, a deepening voice, an increased risk of breast cancer or heart disease, and acne and skin thickening. DE supplements are not generally recommended by doctors, and those who do prescribe them do so at much lower doses. DE is at its highest when a person is in her 20s, and it declines with age. Scientists do not know exactly why this happens, but some think supplementing with the hormone may reduce the effects of aging. As part of a study done by the Mayo Clinic, men and women aged 60 and over took DE for two years. Even though the participants' DE blood levels were comparable to those of a young adult, none of the test subjects showed improvement in insulin sensitivity, quality of life, percentage of body fat or physical performance, all of which are hallmarks of aging. Some nutritional companies still insist that this hormone will turn back the hands of time, but there is not much evidence to support this broad claim. Increased energy and well-being may be a positive effect of DE for women. The University of Maryland Medical Center found that DE raised energy levels of women with chronic fatigue syndrome. The women in the study took 50 to 200 mg of DE. Research done by the University of Michigan Health System found that women with documented adrenal insufficiency and depleted DE levels may benefit from a 50 mg supplement every day. Improved spinal bone density may be another good reason to recommend DE for women. St. Louis University carried out a two-year study on the effects of DE on the bone density of the spine. The study revealed that bone density of study participants increased by 2% when DE was taken with vitamin D and calcium supplements. And YU Langa Medical Center found that the hormone might be beneficial for women over 70 who are fighting osteoporosis. It may also help prevent osteoporosis in women of all ages with N. DE for women may ease symptoms of menopause. The University of Michigan Health System found that DE for women particularly helps reduce the symptoms of emotional ability or sudden mood swings, such as crying for no apparent reason. They hypothesize that the hormone allows the brain to be more responsive to a woman's natural endorphins the feel-good hormones. Researchers caution that using the hormone for menopausal symptoms should only be done under the supervision of a doctor. The New England Journal of Medicine reported on a German study in which scientists looked at the effects of DE on libido in women diagnosed with adrenal insufficiency. After four months of treatment with 50 mg of daily DE, the women reported a stronger sex drive and greater satisfaction as well as fewer episodes of anxiety and other psychological issues. The downside of DE for women was evident in this German study when about 20% of participants reported side effects of acne, oily skin, unwanted body hair, and some loss of hair on the head. Most studies show side effects appear when women take 25 to 50 mg of the supplement per day. With 100 mg per day, the voice may deepen and facial hair may become thicker. Even higher doses may cause liver damage, an increased risk of breast or ovarian cancer, and heart disease. Interestingly, researchers who ran the two-year Mayo Clinic study found no side effects that they considered clinically significant. Most doctors discourage the use of DE for women unless there is a documented hormonal deficiency. Alternative healthcare practitioners who prescribe DE recommend much lower doses than are available over the counter. Women often begin with a prescription of just 5 mg per day. Both conventional and alternative doctors advise taking the supplement only under the supervision of a medical professional. What does DE do for women with autoimmune diseases? Autoimmune diseases, instances when a person's immune system attacks various parts of his or her own body, are widespread. Although these disorders of the immune system affect all sexes, they affect biological women at a much higher rate. Several studies and clinical trials have been completed and are ongoing to investigate the effectiveness of DE supplementation in the treatment of autoimmune disease. Although results are far from conclusive, DE does appear to have some potential benefits in mitigating symptoms that are common to the majority of autoimmune diseases. DE in inflammation. Systemic inflammation is an issue for those suffering from a wide swathe of autoimmune diseases including lupus, 
rheumatoid arthritis, and Hashimoto's disease. In studies completed by the National Center for Biotechnology Information, supplementation with DE has shown some efficacy in addressing chronic inflammation by inhibiting inflammatory cytokines, DE, and chronic fatigue. Although increased and sometimes debilitating levels of fatigue have been directly associated with autoimmune disorders like chronic fatigue syndrome, it is a commonly reported symptom for many autoimmune diseases. This fatigue can be linked to adrenal fatigue, which is common in autoimmune patients and has been linked to low levels of DE. In a recent pilot program using DE supplementation, the NCBI reported a 21% decrease in fatigue DE in systemic dryness. Vaginal dryness is a common complaint of menopausal women, but is often experienced by women of all ages who are dealing with autoimmune issues. Many women hesitate to discuss this issue with their physicians. There are effective treatments that can help to address vaginal dryness or atrophy. DE is commonly given in the form of a suppository and can offer significant relief without risking an unsafe rise in estrogen levels. Additionally, Intravaginal DE treatment may offer a solution for the decreased levels of sexual sensitivity that often go hand-in-hand -hand with vaginal atrophy, a benefit that is not produced with other hormonal supplementation or treatments. How much DE should a woman take for fertility? Women should note that taken on its own. Outside of an integrated fertility treatment plan, DE is not likely to have a significant effect on conception. When DE is used to address issues of infertility, it is commonly done under a doctor's supervision and as a precursor to IVF. Since the most common cause of infertility in otherwise healthy women is a decrease in egg supply, the DE is suggested to help stimulate underactive ovaries in the weeks before an IVF procedure. The most commonly recommended dosage is 25 and taken three times daily to provide a consistent level of stimulation throughout the day, though a physician may well adjust the dosage depending on several factors affecting a specific patient. Is DE safe for women? DE is a naturally occurring substance in the body. Taken in low doses, the risks appear minimal. However, the studies that have identified potentially grave side effects should not be ignored. Women dealing with serious health issues such as depression, infertility, or adrenal insufficiency who feel they may find some relief with DE should discuss with their doctors whether the benefits merit the risks. Potential drug interactions. DE is suspected to have negative interactions with several prescription medications or to cause some pharmaceuticals to be less effective. Some contraindicated combinations might be combining DE with estrogen may lead to an overabundance of estrogen or estrogen dominance. It is not recommended to take DE when a patient is already supplementing their testosterone levels as it can cause imbalances that result in males or females taking on characteristics generally associated with the opposite sex. DE may make antipsychotics less effective. Many anti-seizure medications may become less effective when combined with DE. Taking DE along with benzodiazepines may lead to potentially dangerous levels of sedation. Combining SSR with DE may result in the onset of manic. If you're already on one or more medications, it is crucial that you speak with your physician before adding DE or any other supplement to your treatment regimen. Even natural substances have the potential to cause reactions and side effects or to reduce efficacy when taken with certain medications. Possible cancer risks. Perhaps the most concerning side effect that has been posited by studies pertains to the possibility that DE supplementation has the potential to contribute to hormone-related cancers including breast cancer and ovarian cancer. Since DE is itself a steroid hormone as well as the precursor to other hormones, the Mayo Clinic has suggested that it be avoided by women who currently have cancer, a family history of cancer, or a genetic predisposition to cancer. What does DE do for women? Menopause, the research about DE and menopause is mixed. Some studies suggest that DE supplementation alleviates menopause symptoms. Other studies have shown no relief of menopause symptoms and an increased risk of hormone-related cancers such as breast, ovarian, and uterine cancer. Metabolic disease DE helps lower the amount of abdominal fat you have and improves your resistance to insulin. It can also decrease the inflammation in your arteries. Major depressive disorder in a few studies. DE has been shown to improve the symptoms of depression. Improved libido studies have shown that DE vaginal suppositories can increase libido in older women. Lupus DE increases the quality of life for lupus patients. It may lower the number of flare-ups you have. 
increase your bone mass, and improve your mental status. Adrenal insufficiency DHE is one of the hormones created in the adrenal glands. Many studies have shown that DHE can improve your mood, reduce fatigue, and increase your sense of well-being. It can reduce feelings of anxiety and depression. How much DE should a woman take daily? DE doses vary widely depending on what condition you're trying to treat. Studies on DE supplements have used doses from 25 to 200 milligrams. It's important to only take DE under a doctor's care. Side effects can include hormonal changes women can start taking on more masculine traits, including facial and body hair or lower voice. Hair loss This may be another masculine trait. You may experience loss of your hair on top of your head. Worsening of mental illness DE may have a profound effect on women who have mental illness. It can cause delusions, paranoia, psychosis, aggression, hypomania, and disinhibition. Drug interactions DE reacts badly with several types of medication, including antipsychotic medication, such as Abilify, benzodiazepines, such as clonopin, anti-seizure medication, such as Tegretol, antidepressant SSRs, such as pros, other hormones, such as estrogen, anticoagulants, such as Coumadin. What are the symptoms of low DHE in women? Some of the symptoms of low DHE in female patients include heart disease, memory loss, osteoporosis, breast cancer, unexplained weight loss, nausea, and vomiting. Older women may also experience thinning of the vaginal walls, decreased sex drive, and bone loss. Studies are mixed, but some have shown that older women supplementing with DHE have an increased libido. Women with low DHE levels may have one of two disorders that can be managed with medication and careful monitoring by medical professionals. Addison's disease. Addison's is also known as adrenal insufficiency. It happens when your adrenal glands don't produce enough hormones, including DHE. If it gets bad enough, it can be life-threatening. Treatment involves taking medication, usually for the rest of your life. Symptoms of Addison's disease include severe fatigue, low blood pressure, and fainting, nausea, diarrhea, and vomiting, sudden weight loss and lack of hunger, muscle and joint pain. Addison's is usually diagnosed with blood and imaging tests. These tests include blood analysis and ACTH stimulation test, where this hormone is injected and your cortisol levels, an insulin-induced hypoglycemia test, where insulin is injected and your blood sugar and cortisol levels are checked, a CT scan to let doctors look at your adrenal glands and check for abnormalities, hypopituitarism. Hypopituitarism occurs, pituitary gland isn't producing enough hormones. This can become serious quickly, depending on which of the seven hormones aren't being produced in sufficient quantities. Treatment involves taking medication for the rest of your life. Symptoms of hypopituitarism vary based on which hormone is lacking. They include muscle weakness, lack of ambition, fatigue, lower sex drive, weight loss or gain, hot flashes, loss of pubic hair, irregular periods. Hypopituitarism is diagnosed with blood and imaging tests. These tests include blood tests to measure your hormone levels, stimulation testing, where you're injected with hormones before having hormone levels checked. CT and slash or MRI of your brain to let doctors see your pituitary gland and determine whether there's a tumor causing problems. Vision testing to see if a tumor may be causing impaired sight. Research on DE is mixed. Some studies show that using it is beneficial in treating different medical conditions. Other studies show it to cause life-threatening side effects such as cancer and an increase in psychological symptoms. Unfortunately, Low DHE can also cause life-threatening conditions such as heart disease and breast cancer. It's clear that more analysis must be done to determine whether DHE supplementation is a viable treatment option. The side effects are just too severe. How much DHE should a woman take as a supplement? Mainly, it can boost your estrogen and testosterone production, which can help combat a number of hormone-related health or aging problems. There are a few different ways you can take DHE. Most commonly, you'll use a cream or oral tablet. However, some women choose to use vaginal inserts for specific issues. Other patients will inject it or take it intravenously. Currently, there's no set standard dosage for DE. Capsule sizes vary quite a bit, so the amount you'll take will depend entirely on the ailment you want to treat. There are a few guidelines you can follow for certain conditions, 
Though, the most common dose is 2550 mg. This is the dosage you take for some of the most common problems you'd use DE for, including anti-aging and depression. If you choose a cream, you can use a 1% DE cream twice a day. DE for women's libido. Since DE directly affects your hormone levels, it's a logical choice if you need to boost your libido. Specifically, it's ideal for postmenopausal women currently suffering from broad hormonal changes that can affect libido. Your body produces DE naturally through your adrenal gland. However, those natural levels of DE decline as you get older. For that reason, a supplement is a great way to replace what's lost as you approach and go through menopause. In fact, studies show that it might adequately replace lost DE within a year. For women approaching menopause, you might want to ask your doctor about a DE supplement if you feel your libido slipping. It's possible a supplement might be able to get your DE levels back up to premenopausal levels, breathing life back into your sex drive. It's important to remember that studies show an increased sex drive in peri and postmenopausal women who use DE. There's little evidence to suggest younger women would have the same outcome. If you're young and feel your sex drive is low, you should talk to your doctor about potential causes. DE Supplements for Women DE supplements come in many forms. Most women will take DE in pill form to treat a decreased libido, but there are certain risks and side effects to be aware of if you decide to do so. First, since DE is a hormone, it can cause side effects similar to period symptoms. For example, you might experience a disrupted cycle, mood imbalances, headaches, or fatigue. Similarly, if you have heart, liver, or kidney problems, you should avoid DE until you talk with your doctor. Although it could be an excellent tool for increasing your libido, your doctor might have another path in mind that better suits your healthcare needs. Finally, if you take any medications regularly, confirm with your doctor that there won't be any negative interactions when you take a supplement. You want your DE to work to its full capacity. If it interacts negatively with an existing medication, you could see the exact opposite effect.